Hello, welcome back, and uh, we're just kind of kind of muddling through here. We're not doing too much quite yet, but we will be doing uh, quite a bit in the near future here. I hope. Moving him up because there's suitable ground to raise food upon, and uh, so again, all we got is a few furs at this point, but uh, that's all right. We can keep that uh, keep that moving. We'll go ahead and plow the square, and my distiller will go northward, and uh, hopefully we'll get that docks up and running, and hopefully by the time that uh, these guys get angry with us, we will have the means to defend ourselves. If not, it'll be a real, a real boondoggle, a real uh, foofara. Actually, we can spare another colonist here. Aha! Beautiful. Thank you. Well, maybe that guy did pay off. Ah, expert lumberjerks. Actually, you know what I really want? I want to take these indentured servants and get them trained up. Is that a great idea? Should I have taken the lumberjacks? I don't know. It feels stupid to pick uh, someone else other than who I would logically pick, right? Uh, but that's what I did. I'm just gonna kinda hang this guy here. Yeah, can make him a lumberjack, why not? All right, now uh, converts are absolutely useless outside of, or inside the city. Uh, they, they're the same as petty criminals, they only get one unit per turn. And they can't really be changed until later, until you get uh, Sepuelda or one of those guys, I can't remember which ones. But uh, anyway, they are completely useless inside but outside they have an advantage over regular colonists all except experts so they're the best around and nothing will keep them down so i imagine i'm gonna have an easy time learning how to be a sugar plant or a tobacco plant they're one of the two right unfortunately i can't plant any tobacco until i get that land off those so i wring that land out of their hands uh, which I'm not going to wring it out. I'm just going to get the founding father that allows me to uh, kind of do whatever the heck I want. All right. Hello. Sugar planter. Sounds great. Everybody likes sugar. Uh, and that was one of the unique crops of the uh, Western world. Um, sugar. It was not common. I'm sure that I, there was a way to get sugar before, but... Uh, as far as just like sugar sugar I don't know sugar cane I guess sugar yeah sugar cane didn't grow in Europe that's for sure I'm sure it grew somewhere in Asia but I don't know if the crop was quite there yet I know tobacco was new tomatoes were new um, yeah, still purchasing the boys here and it's still pricey but uh, doing all right and uh, hopefully get that wagon train up for me and I'll be able to ship some of these goods on in um but everybody's not alarmed yet i mean they would they wouldn't be because i don't have any darn weapons uh the natives here can be a threat particularly if you have no defenses um because they can kill your colonists uh, but even if you do have defenses one of the things they are able to do that's pretty crappy is uh, burn down your gosh darn buildings uh which that's a you know that's that's a big that's a big issue right there Okay, let's go ahead and just build a road for now, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, your colonists are your, uh, what's his name, your pioneers, they use their tools. So they use 20 tools. They get basically, they get five charges, let's say that. How about, how's that for you? They get five charges and they turn into regular colonists because their tools, I guess they, I guess they're very, they're not very careful with them and they just swing them around like crazy people. Aha! Now this will really be good for us. Because even a normal dude can grow seven food here. Uh, but once we get an expert fisherman, it's going to be game on. You know, it's going to be game on. Um, so, that's good. And then the next thing, let's build a lumber mill. Because that'll make it easier to build other things. Because right now we're only producing three hammers off eight lumber. Um, that'll double that to six. Which will be highly useful. Alright. And we should get that wagon train online soon. 
Um, we want to get a scout as well. Aha! Wow, that's really paying off in spades, is it not? Um, well, a tobacco. Great. Great, great, great gravy. And there's Convert right here. What may he do? Okay, let's go ahead and have him come down here and be my, uh, my fisherman. Because he'll be better than this guy fishing. And what do you do? Oh, yeah, you're a sugar man. All right, and then you are now my fisherman. There, see? So everything kind of comes good. We could have another guy here and actually start producing Liberty Bells, which would be good because the more Liberty Bells we produce, the more Founding Fathers we'll get, particularly the Founding Father we're looking for, which is Peter Minuet, which will save us kind of from our, our... Oh, whoops, that was... kind. Oh, no, that was exactly what I wanted to do. It will save us from our... You know, our, our bad, but uh, completely self-inflicted situation. Uh, these guys aren't bad to uh, trade with either. They're not great, uh, but they can help insulate us from some of the um, issues we'll have with uh, trading with the king. Um, so we might just want to start trading with them early on. I feel like I should save some money, but I, I don't think I need to quite yet. I'm going to take these indentured servants because I'll just send them to learn something. And these guys, ah, and there's, there we go. Now we got TJ. Which actually was not really what I wanted to do. I actually, that was kind of a boo-boo. I need to equip somebody with horses so they go talk to these guys. Because they'll, I mean, even though if they're not seasoned scouts, the natives will eventually be like, ah, we'll, we'll give you guides. Which basically means, uh, Peter Minuet is not friggin' here, which is bad. Okay, Sewer de la Salle can be a, a bad time because Sewer de la Salle gives you a um, stockade in every city. If you got a stockade in every city, that means you may not are for Biden from destroying any of your, not destroying, but like uh, abandoning a colony, which a temporary colony could be a good idea. Uh, geez, they're all stink. All right, how about Pocahontas? She'll keep the natives like... She'll reduce them to content, which they are content now, but they'll also, like, get less pissed less quickly. You know what I mean? Like, there'll be, they'll, have, they'll, get, they'll get angry half as fast after that. Yeah, I really do need that. Uh, I should have put this guy on a horse. That was stupid of me. Should have put him on a horse or should have did something else with him. But uh, at the end of the day, I think it's going to work out all right. Um, maybe. Like, this is not like, uh, and I don't know if, I wouldn't say it's exactly like that, but this isn't like a one mistake kind of game. Like, I would say, uh, Civ 4 colonization is kind of a, you had better not screw up right away in the beginning of the game. Because if you do, you're, 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 you're in the toilet. Um, my master distiller is up there, any. Okay, we'll see about replacing him quickly. Take him back with the demon leaf. And we'll just kind of hang out for a little bit. Hi. Yeah. Nah. I was hoping you had a tobacco plant or a deal going there. We're somewhere around Brazil, uh, if you don't know yet. I'm sorry, I haven't done very much exploring. Ah, now here's the guy who can free up the dude to do the stuff and the things. Which, you know, I'm pretty happy about. And I eventually have to start trading with these guys, which is, you know, duh, right? I also have to start defending myself. Okay, so we're making good money now. We can actually buy a, um, a what's his name, a cannon, which we probably need to do, but I'll do it next time because I want to buy the trade goods because I want to start trading with these guys. It uh, will make them happy. And then I will get one of these guys here, a free colonist and arm him with the tools of the trade. There we go. Uh, I know some people are like, really, they don't like to, uh, oh! Yeah, I wanna put some on a horse too. I didn't freaking do that now, did I? All right, that's okay. All right, yeah, this distiller, I need to get him off distilling. Well, I need to get him on distilling, which means I need to get him the heck out of this colony. Um, so we'll make him into a colonist. Don't worry about the food. We'll put you there, dear. Oh, wow, we're still building the wagon train. Very stupid of me. I should probably pay attention to what the heck is going on. Uh, and actually, I'm going to switch these two around because I could use the extra food. 
I don't need the extra lumber as much. So you go there. And uh, yeah, the, the natives, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't use, in the other game, um, the remake, I don't use the native converts hardly at all. Um, but uh, it's pretty obvious that uh, it's a better strategy here. All right, I'm just gonna have him walk and see if he can go somewhere and get some education, go to school, you know? And plus, I need to put somebody on a horse for Pete's sake. Oh, hello. All right, so he goes down south, and we can start making rum, like, real quick here, which is pretty good. Uh, the natives usually pay well for rum, uh, and it will probably become something we're going to do in the future. Uh, because, um, like I said, you don't pay any taxes to these guys. Sometimes their prices are good, sometimes they're not so good, but it's still better than... Uh, cause the, the, the king can get quite brutal with his taxes. Um, he gets up to like stupid percentages. Like, um, I mean, last game I just got done playing a, a game on, uh, what's his name? Difficulty. On, uh, yeah, on this difficulty and it was 57% uh, by the time I was done. And then it's just, you know, I mean, you can barely make profits off that. Uh, it just doesn't work. And so, okay, is there anything I can actually, not really. Uh, yeah, I could, I could chop up this. Yeah, sure. Why not? But I still need that scout, pretty much. I need to go talk to the Incas, because the Incas are very good about uh, giving you cash money dollars in abundance. Okay. We'll take your tobacco, and I shall sell it. And then what else we got? Furs, furs for a raw material fetch a fairly good price. The natives are always interested in trade, not always interested, but usually interested in trade goods. And uh, like I said, I want to keep them happy, particularly right now when I have no means to defend myself. Um, so let's go ahead and see how much you want to give me. Uh, maybe I can find somebody who wants more than that. I was hoping to make a little bit of a profit. Although that might not be possible. And like I said, that's not the main reason. Uh, there's a goody hut right there. All right, I need to get a gosh darn scout. There's no two ways about that one. And a scout is, all it is is basically a dude on a horse. Equal scout, you know. Let's see, what are we doing here? Yeah, we're both making a lumber mill, which is a pretty good idea. Unfortunately, your, your, your wagon trains and other uh, conveyances always like just stop dead when you get to a town. Uh, they just set up there. So it doesn't matter how many turns you have left. You're not moving after that. Okay, let's see what else we got. Luckily, we haven't met any other Europeans since... Uh, horses, please. Cool. So this guy's gonna help us make some cash money. These guys are probably gonna teach you to be a cotton planter, which is great, but it's not what we want right now. As you can see down there, there's fairly good cotton deposits. We can we can haggle with them a little bit. If you haggle with them too much, though, they're gonna they're gonna poo poo all over you. All right, let's see. Nah, I know your stuff's that great. The great thing is though, the Incas will trade you silver, and apparently they have no idea what the value of said. Silver is. Oh, gosh darn it. Here comes another group of Europeans. Oh, yeah, I gotta kiss your pinky ring because we're. So, 3% tax. It's not bad. Uh, obviously, nobody likes to pay taxes. Yeah, not now, dude. I might just go all the way to the Incas and learn how to be. Because they're all like expert farmers. And expert farmers and expert fishermen are really useful to us. Alright. But, yeah. I try to avoid uh, the other Europeans when I can. Uh, Europe, the other Europeans have like nasty habits of just hanging out next to your town. Yes. Um, after you get Benjamin Franklin, they can't really declare war on you anymore, which is nice. Uh, but before that, they can declare war, and also the king can like make you go to war with them, which is not good. 
Um, because most of the time you don't really. War in this game is okay, but it's like it's a sideshow and it's a distracting sideshow. It's all about economics. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and ask to speak with the chief. Ah, there we go. Now, now he's seasoned. See how quickly he got seasoned, and that helps. We'll get better results from these lost city rumors, lost city legends, or whatever. So that guy is probably just going to hang there forever and ever, which is not really what I want, but it's also not much I can do about it at this point, so I'm just going to take it like the chump I am. Um, let's see. All right, and the music is stellar in this game, I might add. I very much enjoy it. Big fan. I'm glad we see, we're, we're finally doing a... F we're selling a finished product at this point, too, which is kind of nice. Um... So hopefully we'll find the... Ah, it's time to get lucky to find the Fountain of Youth. I found two of them the last game I played. And uh, Fountain of Youth is good for... You know... Anything good? Whoa! That's also a good one. Unfortunately, the natives love to attack those treasure trains. So I have to, like, escort it back, pretty much. They're, uh... You know, they... Uh, they're not, uh... And it doesn't matter if the natives are like good with you or not. They, they'll still attack the damn things. Um, they just can't help it. They can't help themselves. All right. So now we've got a decent amount of money. So I'm going to buy my first weapon here. And then can I get anybody? Ooh, expert farmers. That is a, that's a, that's an offer I can't refuse. Jeez, I love those guys. Anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can get this uh, treasure back here. Um, they shouldn't attack us. Uh, the Arawaks, on the other hand, oh frickin', the Arawaks are, and they're only in the Caribbean, I've never really had to deal with them because, um, they're what? Because they're far away, and, uh, starting, uh, your civilization on the, the civilization, excuse me, starting your, uh, colonies on the Caribbean, on the, yeah, on the Caribbean islands, not a good idea, really. Let's see, what else can we do here? So we got that, we got the lumber mill. Uh, could have a church, we really don't have the spare personnel for it because it, you only get five before they start penalizing you. Um, so it's probably best, let's just build a warehouse at this point. Schoolhouse might be a good idea, but once again, we don't have the excess uh, uh, room because we've got, we've got our five. Let's see what else can we do here. And this one. Ah, because then we've got the extra native dude. Which is great. This guy is not great, however. Uh, and he can't work indoors. So let's go ahead and get him the heck out of here. Uh, for now. And he can go do this. I'm actually going to have him go learn to be a sugar planter as well. Just so he's a regular colonist. Might as well use it, you know what I mean? Did I already talk to him? I think, no, I didn't. Hello. Stories of nearby lands. Ah, god dang it. Look how close the, the freaking uh, Englishmen are to me. Ah, by the way, you can use uh, rivers like roads. One third uh, move point per move. Which is nice. And also, I think I'm making a boo boy. I should be going towards uh, our uh, good friends, the... Uh, should be going towards the uh, Inca. The Inca will give me more stuff for just hanging out, you know what I mean? Okay, so what else are we doing here? Let's build a warehouse. I think we need to do a swap here. In fact, I know we need to do a swap. So we got more, more than enough wood. So we can take him out of the colony and we can put him in the lumber. Okay, yeah, and then we can yeah have him go up. So I think that's what we'll do. I don't know if that's the most efficient usage of personnel. Now they're gonna get more, the natives that is, are gonna get more uh, unhappy, or they'll get more alarmed because we have a piece of artillery around. But you know, that's the brakes, right? We don't really have a choice. Because otherwise we're completely defenseless. And even if the natives are trustworthy and they aren't, 
you know, who's definitely not trustworthy, the English. And so we've got to make sure that we uh, defend what's ours, as they say. Okay. And then this guy, now an expert farmer. And he's better than anybody at farming. Duh, right? Better be for what, for his, what his name. He better live up to his name is what I say. Uh, and I need to think about starting a temporary colony over here for the silver. And I can actually do that fairly easily. Um, and silver is worth a lot of friggin' money. And that's the cool thing is it can be just temporary. Um, let's see what to do with you. Oh yeah, I wanted to turn you into a normal person. Because uh, indentured servants obviously have a penalty when doing indoor jobs. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, fix him up real nice. Muskets uh, are not expensive right now, but they shortly twill be. Let me tell you that. There's no two ways about it. They will be pricey as all get out in the near future. I was lucky we got that master to steal it right off the bat like that. Let's move the treasure train first. Uh, and then we need to think about trying to get a, uh, a master of an expert uh, miner of silver. Hey, thanks, 120 bucks. Yeah, I mean, this is why these guys are so awesome because uh, just a little bonuses are, uh, all right, let me, Turn you into a colonist. Maybe you can go found the uh, the new colony. You know? Yeah, that's, that's not a bad idea, actually. All right. Hello. Yes. And it's instant. In the other game, it takes a few turns. But it, unfortunately, there's a hard one dude limit uh, to becoming a uh, an expert through uh, native help. Okay, cool. All right, we almost got that treasure back. That's gonna be my cut point for the video. I'm like programming it out, like, ah. Okay. All right. Anything good here? Ah, who knows, because I couldn't make the next move. Uh, that's all right. Okay, yes, I'm gonna take my native dude down here and uh, I'm just gonna stick him right here. And it's fine, because the colony will only be good for one thing, and that is mining silver. And silver, uh, those uh, deposits get depleted eventually. But in the beginning, not bad at all. Um, so let's go ahead and get myself an artillery piece. They go up like by 100 every time you get one, uh, which is a little annoying. And uh, maybe some more tools so I can build a, a nice road to my, uh, to my new temporary colony. And then we've got this 300. Whoa, that's what I wanted right there. Yes. Expert lumberjacks, free colonists. God. Veteran soldiers, very nice. Free colonists. I know they're all indentured servants. <laughs> you like that? Uh, it's a nice song, too. But anyway, no, 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 no. We don't want to do it yet because the computer... Like, I think it's a 50% share, even on the weakest difficulty. Maybe I could be wrong about that. But we definitely don't want to be giving them an obscene amount of our money, our hard-earned money. Actually, it's got an extra colonist here. We don't have wood. That's all right, though. We need to, we need to create an extra space uh, because we have five, and we'll get penalized for having six people who don't want to be independent already you know what i mean like hey, do you, have you guys like, why do you already like the sugar planter though wait oh he's an extra sugar planter duh i knew that i knew that don't worry about it. i knew that all right so i'm gonna set up a colony way that <coughs> i'm gonna set up a colony inland a little bit and this is gonna be my my founder of the next colony. Oh crap, I was gonna cut off the video because now we're probably like way too far. So I want food, I'll give them food. That also helps keep them calm and they do ask for it quite often. All right, so we're gonna cut it right here. Thanks for watching, bye bye.